Hey, welcome back to Not a Sermon, Just a Thought, and, and Happy New Year. Renewal, restoration, revival. All three promise the same thing. What is old can be made young. What is tired can be made fresh. What's broken can be mended. If it's been lost, it can be regained. That's actually a good way to end one year and begin a new one. There's a strange story about revival in Ezekiel chapter 37. God set the prophet into the middle of a valley full of bones, white, dry, grotesquely angled, broken bones lay everywhere. And God led Ezekiel back and forth among the bones. We have no idea how long it it, it took him to, to tour this bone valley. For all we know, he needed a calendar, not a clock. When you think about why we end up in need of renewal, restoration, or revival, the reasons usually fall into one of two columns, how people treat each other and how we relate to God. We might need restoration because we've been treated badly by other people. They treated us like things. They used us. And when we were no longer useful to them, well, they tossed us away like out-of-fashion furniture dumped out of the back of a truck at Goodwill. The only thing worse than being used and discarded is being a user, being the one who treats people like things. That will dry your soul and turn your heart to stone. The other reason we often end up in need of revival has to do with how we relate to God, or perhaps better said, how we try to replace God with something else. It's bad when you treat people like things. It's worse when you treat things like gods. And like Israel, we can end up dry and dead and scattered. In fact, you you may already be there. So let's ask the question God asked Ezekiel in chapter 37. Can these bones live? Can we be renewed, restored, revived? Well, yes, but it won't be a do-it-yourself revival. Think about it this way. If God had said, Ezekiel, I want you to reassemble these bones. I'm going to give you the archaeological, anatomical, and forensic knowledge to do the job. Take all the time you need. Call me when you're finished. Not only would Ezekiel still be there assembling bones, but if he'd ever finished, you know what he'd have? A museum. Never in a million, million years would he be able to make those bones take on flesh, breathe in air, stand up, and march. Only God can bring that kind of revival. So our prayer for you in this new year is that God will renew a fresh spirit within you, revive what is faded, and restore what has been lost. Happy New Year. Not a sermon, just a thought.